<laughs> I'm Ben. This is Daniel. Uh, welcome back to part two. Flashback. Oh yeah, we can just keep it going. He can cut it. And we just. Oh, that's ingenious. Okay. I'll change things up a little bit. I'll put on these. Um. You know how people like the Bible basically states that the Earth is only like. 5,000 years old, 7,000 years old? Seven, or something like that. So, something like that. Yeah. But we have all this history to show it's much older. Yeah. And a lot of people are like in conflict in their brains because of that. Mm -hmm. Imagine that the Bible is very, very much older than we expected it to be. The earth, when Jesus was here, was only like a few thousand years old. Mm -hmm. But the rapture happened. And we are now millions of years after that. Or, because we've got... Whew, God! Whew, whew, you smell it? I do, yeah. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. <clears throat> Even though it's unscented. It'll burn the smell. Can I have one? <laughs> after mine. Give me those matches. Go, just, 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 just smell your drink. No, it's like food. <coughs> okay. And, uh, ooh, I think this helps because you just blew it out. <laughs> Here. On a hallowed night such as this, we speak of the things that you never speak of. It kind of burning my nose hairs. Uh, I lost what I was going to say about that again, but okay. Back to Paradise Lost. Okay. Say the Holy Spirit has already left Earth. That's why it's so much harder for people to believe. Um, so this is hell, like our permanent destination. Not that, not that we ourselves died and went to hell, but if the Holy Spirit did leave, if the resurrection had happened, people could still have babies. We were born into a godless world. Oh. We're just waiting for the second rapture. So there's humans left behind on Earth? Yeah. I thought it was... I thought it was 7,000 years, though. Why are we here millions of years? I think it's 7,000 years. No, no, no. That millions of years was a totally different thing. Oh. I already oh. discredited that. I, oh, don't, okay. I don't like that. Okay, okay, okay. Into something else now. Yeah, I could see that, yeah. Um, Just the, just how he described... and, But the next part that I wanted to say before... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I've overran this whole thing. Okay. I do this every week. <laughs> But the last thing is, don't burn my table, please. I won't. <clears throat> the last thing is, uh, all these things that give me these thoughts about this earth not being what we think it is. Yeah. It's like it gravitates toward me. Like that book. I don't. Why is that the one thing I love? It's like my favorite book. Or like. Anything that goes to state that things aren't real. Yeah. Like the quote from like um fucking Inception. No. That too. But I'm thinking of um the Matrix. And he's yeah. like, it's like a splinter in your mind. It's yeah. like that stuff sticks with me. It's like, why is something trying to tell me that this isn't real? Or are you looking for things that you want to to look for I, I don't know it would have to be subconsciously yeah because I know I don't go actively looking for right, it right yeah I see that it's just the more ingrained I get it's the more I see it it's just mm -hmm. dude it's just weird well dude I could totally see us living in a like altered timeline because the number one album in the world right now is called Jesus is King by Kanye West like how absurd is that? That it's 2019 and that's where we're at. Let me tell you what I think. Okay. I think that that just proves the critics being in a complete disconnect with people. Stephen Crowder was explaining what he thought. He was like, all these people were like, oh, you're going to lose all your followers because all of his songs had all these vulgar topics. Mm -hmm. But it's like, maybe they <clears throat> liked him despite the vulgar topics, not because of. I loved, I loved him for both. I loved him for, I love his vulgarness. I'll still bump his old songs. Like, I love his old songs. And I think he'll, I, I don't know. It's hard to say what, what the future is for his songs, but I think the album is flawless. Like, it's an exceptional, like it, 
it's still very much a Kanye West album. Like people, people are like saying it's a new, like he fell off or it's a new yay or something, but it is still very much Kanye. And it's like the production is there. The bars are there. Like it's an amazing album. I love it. It deserves number one. Will you quit it is, burning those? It is number one. I'm a bit of a pyromaniac. Yeah. And I, I wish you didn't have these. Will you hand those Favorite over? like things to burn. <clears throat> yeah. Like, my mom would never let me like play with them. You can play with those. Thank you. There's only like three in there. Hey, that's a lot more than three. I will burn all of these. Uh, back to the that album. That was four bucks for a whole box. Let me have really? That. Damn. Very expensive. <laughs> um, back to the album. Yeah. It's, I have yet to hear the album. I love it. I, don't I know, know you don't like hip hop. And like, Well, I don't. It's not a dislike hip hop. See, you, you guys have me all wrong. I'm well, no. I just, I can't figure out. If you don't listen to music, I can't figure you out. Usually I can fit people in with their music taste, but you just don't listen to it. You should listen to Earl Koenig. What? It's like an old German like opera. Mm. I okay. love it. Elf King. Uh, I don't know if this was one of his songs, but be, it was tell you. during an interview with him and everybody started singing it and it was just like, they said hallelujah and it goes higher. And higher. Yes, I'll play it for you right now. Dude, I love that. It's, it's called Salah. There, Salah. There was a know. part that got a little too much. It was like, okay, it's gone too high. Really? And I was taken aback at how high those people could sing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> was it off the new album? I don't know. Probably. I just heard the hallelujah. Probably. Hallelujah. 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 Um, let me try to find it. I love these drums. Yeah. I'm getting chills, dude. Yeah. Look at the vinyl spinning. Oh my god. Jesus. It is high, yeah. I'm feeling it in my back. Like it's tickling my back. It's it's one of, Yeah, it's one of the best. Tracks. Like, Jesus they're Christ! All, they're all exceptional. Like it's 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 an insanely good album. But here's the thing: even though Kanye, yes, has had like vulgar language in his discography before this, um, and he's been very much like you know very much hip hop. He's he's always kind of rapped and, and sang about like God or Jesus. Like one of his first uh, big hits is called Jesus Walks, and it's like a hip hop song about Jesus. I don't know. It's really good. But he's he's it's all it's sprinkled all throughout his music his religion. But I don't know a lot of Kanye fans are like they weren't expecting this from him, and I'm like, how could you not? He's always been leaning toward this, but it's exceptional. I love it. I I've got two viewpoints. Okay, one of them. Unless someone is like trying to harm you with the religion, yeah, it's giving them something. Yeah, like he's also doing a lot of good though. He's like. Uh, he's on like prison reform like for people who ro- were wrongly imprisoned him and Kim like his wife they've both been doing that but what a crazy yeah you know when people talk about Timeline. God has a plan for you it's like yeah. whoa Kanye probably just like saved a thousand people yeah he, he a million people well I'm sure yeah I don't know it's, it is it is crazy like <coughs> no uh, what I mean is um well, people want to make fun of somebody for believing in something that's not there. It's mm-hmm. like, but why? Yeah. I mean, I personally don't, but but why? If the why make fun of them for it? If if what Christianity is was followed the way like set up and followed the way it's supposed to be, like in the Bible, you know, like I think, I think a lot of people misinterpret it and don't follow it that way. But the way it's set up isn't to hurt like anyone, you know. But there's a lot of Christians who. Not don't. not even about that. It's yeah. just like. People make somebody fun of somebody else and be like, "Oh, you believe in, ain't like, fairy yeah. tales or something." It's like, if believing that they're <clears> going to go to a good place after they die helps them in their life, why would you ever try to make them not believe that? Mm-hmm. It's like, I wish I could just easily believe that because I feel like my life would be <laughs> so much better. Yeah, I also hate it hearing all these Christians going, "Oh no, it's not for real." It's like. I hated that too. Like, and he has a song about that actually on the album. It's, it's, he says, um, he says, I'm finna do a gospel album. And then he says, What have you been hearing from the Christians? They'll be the first ones to judge you. Like, he straight up says it like that. 
make you feel like nobody loves you. He follows it up with that. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. true. Dude, I, but just you playing that clip again, yeah, reinforces whole, why I don't just listen to music because it gets me going in certain right. places. Like Billie Eilish, dude, her music, it puts me in like a spot. And I'm like, I've got chill bumps, and I'm like, yeah. damn, this sounds good. Yeah. Or like when I was hearing that, hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm like, oh, and like tickled my back. Mm-hmm. It's like, whoa. It, I can't be driving and do that. <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean because I feel that stuff all the time, but I guess in a way, I wouldn't say I'm like desensitized to it because I still very much get that while listening to music, but I can also listen to music as like a background thing, kind of like I just, I love having music on. I don't know. Just like listening to it. I don't know, man. It's a crazy, it's been a crazy week. Yeah. Crazy past few weeks, really. Yeah, if you think about it, it's been a crazy few years. Like we're in a weird timeline. You Dude, know? every time something happens, it's like, whoa! Like you remember when they put made the Hollywood sign be Hollyweed? Like it's crazy, right? Do you remember that? No, all I can Somebody think about vandalized it and it said Hollyweed, and it, it was like that for like two days. It was like the biggest thing in the world. Like what? It the yeah, it was. It was the only thing not I can... of this year, but of uh, 2018, right? Dude, the only thing I can think about for California right now is like how how many people don't have power, and also there's like fires, right? Yeah, you don't yeah. really know realize it, but yeah, there's fire. People are like evacuating LA, like it's crazy. And how many weeks have some people been without power? It's yeah, just like, part of our country right now is like third world. Yeah, I know. Well, it was the same way when uh, Puerto Rico was like that though. Was very was it? misinterpreted. Oh, okay, like. They were sent aid and uh, hid the aid. Really? Yeah. There was like okay. a warehouse full of like all their supplies and Damn. stuff. Yeah. Wow. That is a conspiracy <laughs> of present day <laughs> proportions. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. But this thing with California, that's just plain old shit. Yeah. Like I think uh, at this point they're just like California is always burning. What are we going to do? Well, my dad was telling me some things. No, I, I was have... watching a podcast. Uh, these people do it, and they live in L.A., and he was showing a video. He's like, yeah, this was, three at mor- this was three in the morning outside my house, and he shows this blazing fire, and he's like, he's like, it took me two hours to get to work because the traffic was so bad. I'm like, what did you do about your house? <laughs> like, what? I don't Dude, know. It's, it's like a reality for them. They just it, All a fire does for them is make them have a longer commute time. Like, it's like, what? Dude, that is ridiculous. If that happened here, I would be calling in. I'd be scared. I'd get my dogs run away. I don't know. Yeah, don't like, at what point do they stop accepting, like, a wildfire as a good call-in excuse, you know? Like, why do you have to go to work <laughs> <laughs> when there's a fire outside your home? But, dude, my dad was telling me a bunch of different things because I heard on the radio um, the governor now was, like, trying to say it wasn't his fault. He was like, it was all these different people's fault. This isn't my fault. This money was not mismanaged by me. And it's like, mm-hmm. my dad was telling me, though, not. This is not saying it's truth because I don't know, but my, I trust my dad. He was saying they used to have a, th- a program where they would go through and they would um, get rid of brush just so that if there was a fire, there wouldn't be as much fuel. But mm. they recently stopped that. So now oh. a lot more stuff burns. Yeah. Um, they also tried to like do something to their power companies, like sue them or hold them liable for some fires that got started. And that's why the power companies are now turning off the power. So oh, they're really? not held liable anymore. That's hilarious. It's like, what the fuck is going on in California, bro? Yeah. How is that even a part of our country? I know. I, yeah. And how Rhett and Link still making videos every day and it's not a problem. <laughs> I know. I used to think they like taped their stuff, but then they talk about current events. So I'm like, they can't tape it too too far. Yeah, like, they do it like a day in advance. Yeah. Like it must be just a day. Dude. I'm done with them. Really? I've hit the point. I, I watched a few more of their videos in the past few days and I'm like, it's not what it used to be, man. Damn, dude. It's a sad day. Oh, man. Yeah, it really is a sad day. Their sexual innuendos are just... I've noticed that too. It doesn't like bother me i guess it, but it is for you know how much i joke about that stuff yeah it's not that, it, that they're joking about it that bothers me it's just what i fell in love with is no longer what i fell in love with yeah. it's like if in the office you fell in love <clears> with the show and all of a sudden there's like a like slowly in episodes they just start doing like really raunchy stuff it's yeah. like i know i don't just i don't know <laughs> i get i get what you mean yeah 
Or maybe that's who they were all along. They just now are being themselves. I actually don't think. I think it's the opposite. You think, think they're just doing it? I think they're getting more. Uh, I hate to say scripted because I don't think it's scripted necessarily. But they are scripted heavily. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I figured that. I guess, but there was a time when they, I get what you're saying. It was more like they were truly them, and I can still see that sometimes. I guess is why I still watch. But but all the time, Link will just like start laughing and just stop. Yeah. You watch him. Yeah. He does it on purpose sometimes. <clears throat> it's like every time he laughs now, it sounds the same as when he fakes it. So I don't even know when he's actually having fun in life. I like watching the the Moors because they do they it, they're more real. I think kind of well. And then I'm sure I haven't I don't listen to their podcast <laughs> regular, but I'm sure they're more <coughs> genuine on that. I listen to their <clears throat> LTAT. Mm-hmm. Uh, today I listened to it for yesterday, and their introduction was. Today's guess, um, their sexual eighty percent of their sexual innuendos happen on the spot, and they're not trying or something. It's like it's like, yeah. I mean, I don't believe that it's on accident, but yeah. they are making. It's getting to be the point where they're like, yeah, we're gonna make joke about how many times they joke about that stuff right yeah. now. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm done with them, man. In fact, I'm done with half the subscriptions I have on YouTube. Damn, dude. You know what I use YouTube for the most, like. I'll just watch random interview, like, 10 things, uh, like, Young Thug can't live without, or 10, ten <laughs> things, like, 2 chains can't live without. GQ does Weed, 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 <laughs> weed, weed, weed. Surprisingly, weed. no. Like, they do, like, pra- oh, I say practical, but... Oh, he's a little dog. Um, I, I don't know, like, about specifics, but a lot of a lot of people, it's, like, their grill. They have to have their grill, uh, or, like, a Louis Vuitton wallet, or, um, like, Can you bag. mention that lifestyle? I want to very much. Um, and then they'll do like Sean Mendez. He had like his guitar. GQ does them. They have like hundreds of them. All these people like uh, name someone. They probably got one. But it's it's cool to like watch. It's like a different life. They're like 10 things you can't live without. And they, they bring them all on and they show them. And it's like, this is my hair pomade. And it's like... <laughs> Can't live without, or you can't, or you need for your like. Daily. Now, how to touch is the person? How rich are they that they're I like, know? Yeah, when I can't live when like that's the made. stuff that they're bringing on. You know what I can't live without? <clears throat> right, like food, water. <laughs> that's it. I'm seriously. <laughs> when I think of what I can't go without <clears throat> in a day, it is a beautiful day if I don't even have to leave my house. Right. Yeah. So I could definitely live without a car. <laughs> yeah. I could live without my motorcycle. Um, something to get rid of boredom. So. I could say I couldn't live without my guitar. Mm-hmm. That helps with boredom. I couldn't live without books. I could do without my games. It might it might be worded like my 10 essentials instead of 10 things I can't live without. But still, it's like, I don't know. There's a it's theme. like, dude, how rich there's, are you? There's a theme. A lot of them are wallets or bags. And then like... It's probably just to like <clears throat> plug some merchandise. Yeah, probably. I, I do like watching them though. And I, I watch like celebrity interviews. It's just, I love finding weird... Not weird, but just random videos and watching them. Well, look, here's a here's a brief description of my subscriptions. Okay. First, my number one is um, Good Mythical Morning. Okay. And I would watch that every single day. But now it's to the point it's like, yeah, I'm not sad if I miss <clears throat> an episode now. Damn. You know how much that bums me out? Uh, Mumbo Jumbo, he does the redstone for uh, Minecraft. Oh, really? I've not been watching his stuff. Yeah. Uh, Carry Trainer, he's a guy who does videos on concealed carry and like proper techniques. I haven't been watching him. Um, what's the guy's name? Lou Later, uh, Unbox Therapy. Okay. I've not been watching his stuff because I've been gotten bored. <clears throat> um, the Quartering, I've gotten bored of that. He does a bunch of game news and, and journalist news. Tim Pool or Tim Cast, he does. Doc, uh, He's a liberal. Um, I don't know exactly what he called himself. He doesn't call himself Democrat. I think he just called himself a liberal progressive or something like that. I listen mm-hmm. to his docu- uh, his commentaries. Uh, I'm tired of that. I listen to Steven Crowder. Tired of that. It's just I'm tired. Are, at this point, are you tired of life or the YouTube channel? No, I'm. When I told you that I feel myself getting happier, that's true. Mm-hmm. Like I, I truly feel like I'm getting every day like in a better spot. Yeah. Um, I think. Maybe this is a sign that I'm growing out of who I was. I don't know. Yeah. Like or maybe you needed those those videos to like 
<laughs> carrying you, me along. Yeah, to help you be happy, but now you're but out now, of place. Dude, it's like now instead of watching YouTube for five hours a night, <laughs> I'm reading my books for three hours a night, dude. Yeah. I and I'm get, getting better sleep, dude. I know. Isn't that incredible when you get a good night's sleep? I can't remember the last time I woke up not tired. but Dude. Well, I can't remember it, but it's just been a long time, but it feels so good. I woke different. up on my own at like 6 o'clock. Yeah, waking and that up. Happened, hasn't happened that hasn't happened Speaking of which, we fall back tonight, Bro. which we get an extra hour. <laughs> I think my life fell apart when we lost our hour, and now it's coming back together. Dude, today is your yes, day. Yes, it is. Bro. Because we're getting that hour, and I don't care what you say. An hour is like... An hour is 60 minutes. So much minutes. difference, dude. Because when, I, when my alarm goes off in the morning, so I do this thing where I... I fake myself out. I have an alarm <laughs> five minutes before I need an alarm. Yeah. And then I'll wake up and be like, oh, turn that alarm off. I'm like, five minute nap. And I go back to sleep for five minutes. <laughs> and then you fall asleep like, 20 so minutes later. so cozy, you know? Um, and, and then I have my real alarm. But Well. So a, a whole extra hour is like. But you know what? I've discovered something and I recently started <clears> doing it just because of you. Really? Our conversations here. You talking about needing like the essentials of sleep. And then you're talking about you can't find time to read. And I'm like, you know what? I used to be able to find five hours a day to read. Why right? don't I do that now? Yeah. So I've been starting to read, and it's been getting easier and easier. Every night I'm, like, reading more and more. The other night I spent, like, almost three hours reading. That's awesome. I fell asleep with the book on my chest. Yeah. Dude, I oh woke up God. on my own at six, not a tear in my eye. I was like. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> like, it's, it's a different feeling. And I think a lot of America, maybe the whole world, like, isn't familiar with that because of just work and you it's a way to make you a drone if you are yeah, so reliant that's on what i'm saying dude your memory no my memory <laughs> i remember my memory not always being so bad yeah you know i talk really bad about my memory a lot <laughs> because a lot of my memories are so far gone that i'm like yeah. damn it must be bad but there's also a lot of things that people talk about I'm like oh yeah i remember that and I'm, like, I'm not gonna get into it but I'm, mm-hmm. it's like it's so fake <laughs> <laughs> but um I truly believe that the time I started having worse memory, worse brain function, was probably the time I stopped devoting time to reading. And not getting good sleep. I right? mean, the minute I got an actual smartphone, <laughs> you. Anyway, the minute the minute I actually got a smartphone, yeah, I was on that thing constantly. Oh, I hate being on my phone all day, but I am all day. I need to, I need to go back to just getting a regular old flip phone, or I need to leave my phone like at home or something. No, you need a phone to get it. Yeah. How true. am I gonna leave you a voicemail if you don't have your phone? You're right, but it's like, it's like having all the extras <coughs> of not just being a phone. It's like having all the extras since you're carrying the phone. You're like, well, I might as well scroll through Facebook for two hours. Like, dude, I'm reading these Sherlock Holmes stories, mm-hmm. and I go. I would so badly love to live in that time. Yeah. I know a lot of people have said things like that, and there have been, like, different movies that goes, oh, if you went back in time, this would really be like, and all the people hate what their time is like, but go, smoking on a pipe, eating dinner, having, like, an hour just to sit with dinner with your friends, no TV, sitting in front of a fire reading the newspaper. God, that sounds like... (laughs) That's what I want to live, man. Yeah. Riding in a horse and carriage. Now, I know there's downsides to all of that. Plumbing issues. Right. Um, and also, like, can you imagine not having heat during the winter? Well, actually, I grew up having, a like, a wood-burning stove. But, yeah, my friend had one. Yeah, but imagine not having, like, anything like that. Just, like, the elements. That'd be kind of... That would be rough, but... There's always been fire, yeah. If I could take the money I have now to back then. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And also, and, and also I feel the, like it was easier to yeah. be prominent back then. Yeah, it was, I think. Like, oh, I, if you went back with the knowledge you have, that's a different, that's yeah. a different ballpark. That gets into like back to the future. You could like own the world, you know? And, oh, do we talk about, no, <laughs> that's a different time. Okay. The conspiracy of Trump being a time traveler. Oh, we read, we've all read that, right? That was crazy. Baron Von Trump. Yeah. I don't know if you, I, I'm going to read that book. Yeah. Do what? it. Let me know. I don't have the brain cells to read it, but let me know how it is. Um, one sad thing though is I've put Paradise Lost on the. I need to that see. was satisfying. Yeah. This. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I used to love sticking my hand in the wax and like <laughs> building up layers yeah, and layers, and it's like, oh, I'm coming alive. <laughs> um. 
You have a problem. I'm a, I'm a pyromaniac. Like I will admit it. I used to burn. Okay. Well, toys. you've admitted the problem. Work on it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. You gave me the matches. Um. And there's a, a flame right here. I'm about ready for a beer. I think it's in <clears throat> part one. Oh, I thought we were into part two already. <laughs> Are we really? <laughs> I thought we that break was like. I thought we were supposed to like say I'm. Been this was Daniel. us tying it up. I thought so. That was a long tie. Up. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> It was like how much we were one ten. Oh, what are we? <laughs> All right, guys, let's end part one. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you guys in part two. Peace. Okay, should I change anything? Twenty minutes later. <laughs> I'm Ben. This is Daniel. Uh, welcome back to part two. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is part two of. We we were behind on uh, on recording. We missed a couple recording nights, so this is the second. We had to record two episodes in one night. <laughs> We're wearing the same things. Yeah, I'm. So I was trying to hide this in that last episode. I was Why wearing, would you like, point it out? I started out well because I started out wearing this. Then I took this off and put this on and like these. And then I put my hood up at some point. <laughs> so it was like progressively like getting weirder. I was, I was giant zit and then like eye bags and then my hair's like not. Dude, I'm gonna tell you though, this like messy hair business, that's, that's yeah. kind of like. Kind of fantastic on you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm not going to lie. When I saw your picture for Halloween, I'm oh, like... Yeah. That was intentional. That I'm was like, like, damn, he looking kind of fine. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I try sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I don't celebrate Halloween. I've never celebrated Halloween. In, um, we, the, didn't, we didn't grow up celebrating it. Um, and I still, like, hesitate to say that we celebrate it. Like, it just happens i don't know i love halloween though i distinctly he only walks backwards he hates his sweater <laughs> look at this oh you see him just doing donuts um i remember one time my parents had left their um porch light on mm-hmm. and some people were knocked at the door <clears throat> and we had to turn them away because we didn't have any candy i saw this video <coughs> With the little kid that puts candy back. That touched my heart, dude. What a good kid. Like, ah. I hope I have a good kid. If you don't know, he goes up to the the house. He's trick-or-treating, and the the family, or the bucket is out of candy. And there's more kids coming up. I think one of them is his little sister. And he's like, oh, no. And it's, like, all caught on, like, a ring door cam camera. He's like, oh, no. It's out of candy. And he pulls from his bag and puts it in the bucket. It's like, oh, my God. Heartwarming. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. I'm afraid to have kids, but you know what my dad told me the other day? Mm. We, I, me and him went and had dinner together, and he, I was telling him about, well, you know, I'm afraid to have kids in a world like it is today, you know? There's like a Texas uh, suit where a father is like being denied custody with his kid because he wasn't gendering him properly or something like that. It was kind of some crazy stuff. He didn't want his kid to have like gender hormone therapy or something. Mm. And I'm like, I'm afraid to have a kid at this time. And my dad was like... But it's the best thing you can do, yeah. and I'm like, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> Sometimes he says stuff like that, and I'm like, Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> <coughs> um, no, <laughs> I'd like to have kids. Yeah. After saying I'm scared to have them. <laughs> like, do you think you're ready for kids now? No, no. A couple years. Well, what the actual hell? <laughs> We don't have like a sponsor. There's gonna be Graham Golden Grams, but we don't have the box. Uh, it'd be it'd be brought to you by Vans. I'm always repping some kind of Vans. I've I'm wearing the same pair of Vans that I've had for like. I thought that was a shoe. No, it is. They make sunglasses. Like skate, they're like a skateboarding company. I don't skate, so Dude, I'm like a poser. But I'm gonna get Calvin Klein frames. Do it. I want to get some baller, like, gold, like, circular frames. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you want to have an uh, expensive life, you have to have... I mean, they don't have I to mean, be expensive. I, they don't have to be real gold. I just... Well, I would, I would like them to be, but... I just want new frames. Um, what the heck? Oh, no... This is the reason I'm not ready to have kids. <laughs> not that we have cats, cat. but I would want to kill my kids probably. 
Damn, I think I think that's like the reality of being a parent, though. Like you just, it's like wanting to. I don't know. Well, I'm don't. I'm don't. There's a few things I want to have accomplished before I have a kid. One of them being either me or Sable making enough money to where the other one doesn't have to work. Yeah. Because I do not want my kids to be in the um, public school. Oh, really? You're, like, serious about homeschooling? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I was homeschooled. I mean, I turned out like this, so... Maybe I should put them in public school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious, though. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Will you stop... Dude, you shouldn't have given me the tools to do this. Okay. Like, you pull okay. it out. This is going to go back over here with okay. me. Yeah, I used to burn, like, all sorts of things. Plastic. I would, like, burn plastic army men, and then <laughs> let I would let the plastic flame, like, drip down on Yo, the yeah, other one. Like napalm? Yeah. See, everyone did it. I'm not a pyromaniac. It was just fun. Was well, the like, difference is I do that outside, not at my home. No, I did it outside. I grew up in the sticks, like out in Missouri. Um, like, we were always outside. I wouldn't do it in the house. Probably. Can one day we talk about the ghost stories you told me? Yeah, what did I tell you? I don't know if you We'll talk it. about them right now, but what were they? Specifically, how your granddad was. Oh, I guess we can talk about that. Dude, that or kind should of we have me like, up should we have like a whole episode for it? That should be a whole episode. Yeah, cause because I don't want to go into it right now. It was just we don't. One hour is not enough. Yeah, yeah. But I do hold yeah. a special place for the supernatural. I believe in the paranormal and the supernatural. Like, I don't know. Well, but then I, I so much believe that the world is not what we think it is that I only <clears throat> believe that the paranormal has to be real. Mm-hmm. Regardless of afterlife or not an afterlife, like, there's something out there. There's something going on. Yeah, I like to think that, too. And maybe it's just because it's easy to believe that. Like, it's like a... I feel like it's harder to believe that. Maybe. I think it's hard to believe anything because... Oh, to believe like, something you with certainty? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very much so. <coughs> you can say that you believe in it, but does that make it... But I've it... held at gunpoint, do you? <laughs> yeah. And, um, I don't know. I would really like to think, uh, believe in alien. I don't know. I feel like I've already rummaged my mind. I kind of describe myself as like, I'm, I believe in aliens. Like, why not? Like, until you tell me they're not real, like, why wouldn't I believe in them, you know? Like, until you can show me that they're not. I think, like, same thing with, like, with, like, the, uh, Life not being real or whatever, because show me that it is. I just now remembered this, and I have not looked it up. But do you know what at what degree <clears throat> Earth's axis sits on? I don't know. Like I have no idea. Like I couldn't even ballpark um, it. Let me get, let me think about this. Hold on. Let me. What is uh, 20, 24.4? 23.4. Okay. We check that. <laughs> Earth's axis degrees. <laughs> um, is that what it's called? I have no idea. Angle of the Earth's axis. Ah, 23.4. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Damn. I was close. It's 23.5 if you couldn't hear Brennan. Uh, yeah. So, this video, we are changing constantly, so I don't know how long it'll be, 23.5. I was watching this video that said it was 23.4, which leaves 66.6666, and we're also supposed to be going 66,600 miles per hour really? through space, and we're also supposed to be... <laughs> <coughs> There's no way. We can't get an answer on how fast we're traveling through space, but he's right. 66. So 666 six, six again. Damn. But it occurs more often than that. <laughs> like, there's more occurrences of the number 666. You know what's crazy, though? Like, what? <laughs> like the, the, the number 6 is just something that we give meaning to. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think we give... Yeah, I think... 
I've never had a we problem. We've assigned like a. I'm not superstitious. Oh, I don't just mean six. I mean one, two, like just a little stitious. Like like all of them. Like it's just so. I don't know. I guess what I'm I've never to say felt is, any stitious about any number. Yeah. Like, but how crazy is it that society is superstitious enough in the modern day to not have a thirteenth floor? I know. That's insane that we, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Like in 2019, we still, you still don't like, it's like a common thing. And who cares? Like, yeah. What if the 13th floor exists and that's where everything's. That's kind of crazy. That's like, you'd watch Harry Potter and they'd be like, oh yeah, there, there's no nine and because the platform that they go to Hogwarts is like nine and three quarters, uh, platform nine and three quarters. And the, the regular humans, the muggles are like, there's no platform nine and three quarters. Whereas we would be like, there's no 13th floor. What are you talking about? And what if really it is, is like one. a secret? Wow. Just wow. And uh, <clears throat> like all these things you're told that doesn't exist. And it's like, but wait, why wouldn't it exist? Mm-hmm. Maybe superstition. It's on the 13th floor, bro. When people say throw salt over your eye- shoulder to get in the devil's eyes. Mm-hmm. What if there's because there's somebody actually standing there <laughs> in a different dimension? Ew. Yeah. Like, dude, there'll be nights. There'll be nights when I'm like at the fridge at like 2 a.m. grabbing water or just something. And then the trip back to my room, I have to turn out all the lights. And like as I'm turning them out, I just get this feeling like behind me. I just want to look behind me. Dude. It's creepy. Like when oh. we go to the ghost stories. Yeah. There's my mom told me one about our old home in the basement. For a long time, I didn't want to go in the basement by myself. And then when I mm-hmm. did, when I would go to turn the lights out, I would run. Yeah, I would right? run my it's that <laughs> It's that run, dude. It's like... And you could feel it. Like, yeah. She used to tell a story about how at night they would hear footsteps on the um, staircase come from up the basement. And then the door rattling. Oh. So every time I would, like, get up and shut the basement door, I could almost in my head hear the... Yeah. And I'm like, oh, Jeez, fuck, dude. fuck. Yeah. It's scary, but also the mind is like a powerful thing because the fact that you can like hear the footsteps, like, I don't know. I've, I've been like that too. I no, I've like, never heard him, but it's almost like oh, at you any moment you think it's going to. Yeah. No, one time, one thing that really used to freak me out is when I'd lay down and I hear that. You know what I'm talking about? Not really. Like it's supposed. To, I think it's like blood in your head circulating. Oh, like kind of a rushing noise, maybe? But it's not rushing. It, it, it almost sounds like somebody walking on gravel on a way. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if I've heard that, but I also now? I also yeah, I also hear it like usually when I've got my head, my ear like next to something. Oh Are you okay? Yeah, suction. <laughs> Ow. How hard were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> I heard. I, I do have I was plunging my ear. I do have real ghost stories, like I don't know if I've talked about it on here, but I've showed you guys the uh the thing at Rush or whatever. We went back there and like, I kind of thought it could have been our feet on the because we heard a voice like an unmistakable. The second voice. time? No, the first time like that you've heard, and so we were going back to see what it could have been or whatever. And um, I thought I thought because there was gravel and I kind of thought like it could have been our feet on the gravel. So we were like comparing them. It's nothing alike. Like the voice is like a voice saying some words. Oh my god. Yeah. Ooh, it's like demonic. <laughs> it's like ooh. So you should know. play it in like reverse to see if that we have, and it sounds. Let me see if I have the file. Actually, we have. Does it sound it like reverse. something? It sounds creepy. I don't know what it sounds like, but um, <laughs> <laughs> we can't get into ghosts right now. This I is. Know. A, I want to have. We a, need to have a. a oh, we should have for Halloween. I know. Like, I wanted to have a candlelit <gasps> Halloween episode, um, but it's like November. It's still like spooky. Something about the colder, like the weather, the, like scarier things are. Um, we need to go camping. We skip fall, but I would like to go camping if it gets a little warmer. And when I'm not sick. <coughs> That's it played in reverse or slowed down. I can't. I think it's slowed down actually. It was creepy to experience it. <laughs> but by there was a there was a car going by. I was but like, by experience it, you mean you didn't even hear it at that time? Not at the time, no. But my little brother, he was throwing he made a movement. Yeah, he was throwing something. and He like stopped, and he says he doesn't remember hearing something. But 
in the video he starts to say yeah. what it like it's just weird i remember um, seeing him stop yeah and it's like <gasps> yeah <laughs> it's weird <laughs> yeah um what was i gonna what was i gonna say oh don't remember god what were, you were talking uh, about ghosts there for a second but yeah was it about ghosts or something else let me tell you something okay. creepy <laughs> okay. this is not a ghost story this was not a ghost okay this is creepy a few years ago <laughs> while i was still living with my parents um my friend at the time dylan mm-hmm. i don't know if you guys know him, haskins Went to go stay. Can we just name drop like that, like on our podcast? Um, well, it's not a bad. St- well, I mean, it's a creepy story. <laughs> okay, go ahead. But it's like I was uh, just checking. Thanks that we're not dead. Yeah. And his stepdad had some property apparently that had like this old home on it. Like the home was run down, mm-hmm. like missing like a door and some other stuff open to the elements, and they had like storage had some storage stuff that uh, stayed there. And um, it was like all the walls, there was no electricity, and it was covered with newspapers like back in the like yeah. era of the Depression. <clears throat> we go there to stay the night. We sat down this bed. You went there to stay the night? Yeah, we yeah. sat down this bed that was leaning up against the wall, and we're laying down. And constantly throughout the night, we feel like we hear footsteps. Oh my God. You couldn't pay me to do that. Now, hold on. The story gets better. Was there electricity? I just said no. There was no lights. We just had our phones. Jeez, what were you thinking? It was a dark time in my <laughs> life. <laughs> so we're hearing what sounds like somebody walking around. And I'm thinking, oh, it's got to be an opossum or it's got to be an armadillo. But it sounded so similar to somebody walking, like on the floors or outside. Anyways, we make it to the night. Not but a few days later, authorities found the vehicle of this guy who had apparently been involved in a few murders near here. Ben. Dude, I'm telling you what. He was hiding out there. I'm telling you right now. <clears throat> 100%. Dude, when I heard that news, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Wow. No, he was definitely, it was like an abandoned thing. Yeah, no one lived yeah, there. Yeah, he was hiding out there, dude, for sure. That's creepy. <laughs> and he was telling me, he was like, yeah, they found this van on, on this property. And I'm like, What made him, like, not kill you guys? Like, what so, I'm not sure if he was, like, homicidal or if he was just caught in something at the moment and killed somebody. Or I'm not sure if maybe he didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. Or, like, didn't want to try to mess with three people at once. Yeah, there were three of you? Yeah. Yeah, he probably, yeah. So, but I remember every so often we'd hear something sound like it was walking and we're like, uh, what the? Dude, you couldn't have paid me to stay there. Holy crap! Were there like beds, like actual beds, or no? There was just a mattress laying against the wall, and we just plopped on the ground, <laughs> slept on that. <laughs> no, it couldn't be me. <clears throat> but dude, I think it's having weird experiences like that in my life. I'm like, I feel yeah. like I've come close to death. Well, think about it. Like everyone's had like a weird. Oh, I thought you were talking about like. Have you had like alien experiences though, or like ghost experiences? Yes, Everyone's I've never had those, and it's kind of like. Can I describe you my yeah. my? I've had two experiences. Okay. I've never believed in UFOs. I was taking astronomy at the college, which I only live a few blocks from, and one of the nights we were out there, we were going to stargaze. Well, we're meeting out there by. <sighs> That noise. That's the cats growling at each other. <laughs> um, we were meeting out in the parking lot in like this gravel area. There's like no, there's not any lights over this area. We're all just meeting out there, waiting for the teacher to start the class. He hasn't like walked up there yet. And I just happened to turn my eyes towards the skies, just looking up. <clears throat> all of a sudden, dude, listen. I'll describe the object in a minute. I'm looking out of nowhere. There's something goes over. And I swear to God, it couldn't have been like 50 feet in the air. Like it seems so low. But this is what it looked like. You know those caution signs on the side of the road? They're like rectangular and they've got the um, crisscross yellow and black. Yeah. I don't know what it's actually meant to signify. Maybe a you mean it's like 
when it's like yellow black yellow black but it's a rectangle yes and there's just they're not like this they're just like straight across no they are slanted um, aren't they I've seen both I think well anyways imagine yeah. the slanted ones but it looked like three of those was it yellow and black or was it well it was dark I couldn't really tell but like I could see that it was kind of like pattern like striped it like that mm-hmm. but I couldn't really see exactly if it was yellow but anyways it was like three of those connected in the middle just the sign part and all I could see was like out of nowhere it was like I was looking at this guy and all of a sudden right here there it is and I remember I felt this intense fear like out of nowhere I'm just absolutely fucking scared and I couldn't even like call for anybody and anyways it goes overhead and it's just gone. Like, it doesn't zoom off. It's just gone. And I would... Trish, did you fucking see that? And she's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know what I just fucking saw. Now, I'm not saying it was aliens. Well, let me describe my sister's experience to you. Because I haven't had one quite like this. I don't but... know if you believe... No, hold on. No, go ahead. Hold on. I don't <laughs> know if you believe me or not. Dude. I believe it happened to you, yeah. And I don't know what it was. Explain it as a drone, explain it whatever you want. But I can tell you, the minute I laid eyes on it, mm-hmm. I was felt with such fear in my heart. That's why I was about to that tell I've you. never felt before. Like something was so, in- get this. My family this is a couple years ago. My family was going to Alabama for a family event because my mom's family was from there. And uh, they were leaving at about like four or five in the morning and my mom had rented a, a van to drive up there so that, cause I think I was staying behind so that she left me with a car. She rented a van. <clears throat> and, uh, so they're loading up the car at like 3 AM packing it up. And my two sisters, my two, um, younger sisters are, they're out there and they're loading suitcases into the car. A few minutes later, they come like, running inside like sprinting close the door slam it lock it and then they like finally like yell like they were completely quiet and they're like they finally get inside and then they sort of just like yell like oh my god what was that that was crazy they described this thing hovering above the uh the um it looked like a net they said but it was hovering above the van and it and then it got really close like within 12 feet they, they could have reached out they said it got like really close and it had and it didn't look like a net anymore but it had like like uh, they described it as like they could still see how it looked like a net from further away, but it was like a f- solid thing now. And uh, they were so scared that they the the first one, my older sister Katie, or maybe I'm mixing it up, but one of them said uh, they said that they they pre- they saw it first, and then they were so scared that they pretended they didn't see it because they didn't want it to exist. So she didn't even say anything to my other sister because she was so freaked out until they both saw it, and then they ran inside. But the fact that like. She was so scared to say anything because she didn't want it to exist. That like resonated with me because I would do that. I would if I saw something and it was like real and it's terrifying. I would try to pretend it didn't exist to like maybe make it. Not what exist. was weird about this is I wasn't like pretending it didn't exist. It was just I was felt with such a fear in my soul that mm-hmm. I could not speak, and it was so weird because in my head I'm like somebody needs to see this. Am I the only one? But it was like I can't. I can't talk. Yeah. Dude, it was fun. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it today. In my other experience, you can maybe can play off as a uh, falling star or something, but I was driving out to Alpena, mm-hmm. and this was like 2 or 3 in the morning, okay? Yeah. I pull into that first spot on the right, that like restaurant, and I'm in the parking lot making a phone call because I was meeting somebody, and uh, there's no one in this lot. And I'm just on the phone. I'm like, yeah, I don't know where you're at. And all of a sudden, I'm looking out the window. And you see this thing, this bright thing coming mm-hmm. down. And it goes. And I'm on the phone. I'm like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck I'm witnessing right now. That's crazy. I want to go alien hunt, man. My brothers, when we lived in Missouri, they would they would see lights all the time. Like where we lived, like lights. And they would get on their four-wheelers and follow them for hours. Like. And I remember being too young to go with them, so they would. I would see the lights, and they would get on. I'd be like, I want to go, and they'd like go off, and they'd be back like hours later after it's dark. And they're like, Yeah, we chased them all through. And you remember the razor phone? They had video of it on that, like of them chasing it. It was like the worst video I've ever seen. <coughs> it was recording on a razor phone, but they had that. It was like crazy. I don't know what they were. It was just lights. 
It's not like I believe... <clears throat> and I've already stated that I believe in the supernatural. It's not that I don't believe the supernatural is real. I don't believe... Like, I've been in contact with it. Mm-hmm. Like, as a kid, I remember I used to have a crippling fear. I would just wet the bed instead of deal with it. Yeah. I would be laying in bed, and I'd wake up, and I'd have to use the bathroom. And I used to have... There wasn't a door in my bedroom. It was just a sheet that my mom would hang. And every time the air would kick on, the sheet would get sucked out. Mm-hmm. And I had this... I don't know even where I got the imagery. I just imagined this little pink demon oh, with, God. like... Like pointy ears, just <coughs> fleshy. Yeah, walking down the hall and opening that th- curtain up, and that's just the thought of experiencing that scared me so much that I'd rather piss the bed <laughs> than like I was too scared to even yell for my parents. Now sometimes I would, I would yell and I'd actually wake them up, but yeah. I was like so scared. Like, what if I call out for them and the demon hears me and it gets me? It, was I there ever a time be... when you yelled out for them and and they didn't wake yeah. up? Yeah. Oh god, what did you, you know do? how scared that is? What did I, you do? I like, just fucking keep yelling. Oh my god. <laughs> that would kill me. <laughs> if I was ever so scared that I had to yell out and then nobody answered, I would just like, that would kill There'd me. There'd be many times that I would have to just keep yelling. It was like, oh my god. I don't think my parents ever understood how terrified I was. It's also weird that you came up with that imagery by yourself because I've done stuff like that. Like, I one time created a demon that lived in my closet and she was just this ghostly pale woman, but she had so much ink like spilling out of her mouth or just something black. Now, did you create that? I think I... Or is that real? Did it somehow visit you somehow? Her name was Lisa. I just know that. Dude, what if if we were visited by these things and the memory was so terrible that we try to block it out? Yeah, because why do we have these stories? Like, where did you imagine that pink little fleshy demon? And I'm sure you can like see it in your head. Yeah. Because I can see this in my head and it's like... Yeah, I don't even know why I came up with this. Right. Like, why do we do that? You could put it off on like childhood like, but there'd be yeah. so many times when I would just stare at the doorway being so scared like but going I'm about to see it I'm about to see it I'm about to see it and then just like even now when I look at a doorway sometimes I just think about something Dude, like grabbing lie. and it's fingers being right there I'm not gonna lie the cat's like making all that noise I'm like jumping like <laughs> getting scared all the time I've got that oh and when I experienced when Sable was on um, she was uh, at Academy mm-hmm whatever and I was here by myself and it was one night and I swear I went and closed the garage and was walking around to the front door mm-hmm. and all of a sudden the garage door is going back up and I turn around and then it says so, so I'm walking away it's going down yeah. I get on the porch and it goes, touches the ground and goes back up and then I see this shadow what? in the garage you told me about that yeah That's and I remember I was like <laughs> What the hell? <clears throat> yeah. That's... See, I can be the only person in a room, but I cannot be the only creature in a room. Like, I've got to have animals with me. Yeah. What's kind of scary about cats is cats are weird. See things or whatever, yeah. I'll have a dog good. with me, yeah. but if a dog gets up and is like... Mm. That would be terrifying. I always... For this reason, I don't know if my parents know this, but I always had a dog sleep with me when I was younger. Really? Tilly, that was her name. Yeah. I always had her sleep on my bed, and sometimes she would get up and like stare. That's crazy. Oh. what would you do when she got oh. up though? Because then that just means that she sees something. Like, Dude, I don't know. That would. Scare I feel me. like I blocked this shit out. I would rather her just sleep peacefully all night. But imagine, like, I'm just picturing, like, if if my dog like stood up and was growling, it's like, what would you do? Because then you're trapped in the room with it. Like, oh my god. And I've never experienced. Uh, Paralysis. Paralysis, but that would be scary, I think. It, 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 it <clears throat> as someone who's experienced it a lot, yeah, it was scary for a time. <laughs> is there a creature when you experience it? Because a lot of people be like, there's something in the corner of the room. Like, um, or is it just you can't move? It depends. I've had a few, I think I described on here maybe, there was one time where the first time I can remember experiencing it, I was sleeping on my side and I opened my eyes and then my cup does this. <laughs> oh, and it just goes and disappears into the wall and as soon as it disappears into the wall it's back on the table and I can move and that fucked with me and I'm like Jeez, what did I just experience it fucked with me um, but I remember one time I used to have a um, a bathrobe uh, hang on my door mm-hmm. and I remember one night <clears> I wake up and it's like it's like when you wake up and you like know yeah it's like when you wake up to a loud sound and you go did I actually hear a sound yeah I had to hear a, yeah. heard a sound I woke up, and I look, because I can't move. I look, 
I look at the door, and I see something there. Because it's like humanoid, the bathroom. Yeah, right? but yeah. I see a form, yeah. and it's like looking at me, and all of a sudden, it's no longer a form looking at me, it's my bathrobe. It just takes a few seconds. You know what? Hold on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Because you know how many things I've read like p- of people experiencing that? Like someone, they, they wake up, they can't move, and there's something like watching them. Like, what's with that? <laughs> what's with I wish with we that? could have a... If you're like a psychiatrist or something, please come on this. Well, so. sleep about... What my dad said that was described <laughs> to him as is just your brain has not fully awoken. Well, it's that, but... Awaken. As someone who believes in all these conspiracies, can't you also see it being like... I don't know. Like, do you know who Dennis Prager is? No, he's so. he might be somebody that a lot of people disagree with. But he said something the other day that kind of stuck with me, and he's like, a person who believes in in God believes in God, but a person who's an atheist believes in anything. Mm. And it's like, <clears throat> it literally could be anything. I've got this belief, like, because I don't have a set belief. Well, we gotta do that. It literally, what we experience literally could have any reasoning. Yeah. It could be something watching us. It could be a different dimension in our sleep. It well, could be. I believe in God, but I also, the the Bible is like full of devils. I very much believe in devils. Doesn't that mean I have to believe in devils, like demons and spirits? I mean, yeah. And same for the opposite. Like people who <clears throat> like yeah. worship the devil, like that yeah. also means that God must be real. Right. Um, I don't know. I just, I think. I think there could... Uh, that's creepy. Like, I don't know. Kind of like... What if there are these uh, supernatural or paranormal creatures or whatever, and the reason you can't move when you wake up is because this is when they're... It's kind of their world, and they kind of freeze you or pause you or whatever, and maybe somebody is living in your wall, and he just wanted a drink, and then he put it back, but he made you freeze because you accidentally woke up when he was taking a drink. Or <laughs> similar, what if... Like us, they sleep, but maybe they sleep for, like, I don't know, 12, 16 hours a day, yeah. or we sleep <clears throat> 6 to 8. Yeah. So the minute we're asleep, they can live. When they're asleep, we mm-hmm. live. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. And then there's those moments that would explain, like, sleep paralysis. You wake up, and it's like, not, not your quite, turn yet. Not your turn. Like, no, I'm still like, <laughs> oh, God, that is so scary. I have to sleep in my bedroom tonight by myself, like. Oh. You don't have to. Uh, there's spare room in there. I'm not sleeping on your couch. Dude, oh, I was going to offer in there. Oh, I, that's the only way I would stay the night here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the, I remember telling you about the scariest time I had, right? I don't know. Tell me. I'm sure you did. I, I, I'm sleeping. Look down. There's this like demonic <laughs> zombie-ish wolf <laughs> standing on my bed looking at me. <clears throat> It's not growling or anything, just just staring at me. And it goes on, and, and I remember going, I know what's going on, I know what's going on, just give it a few seconds, it's going to go away. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah. it just vanishes. Yeah. And that's weird, too, like, when you realize you're in a dream, you know, and you sort of just have this weird, like... I've never... I've never lucid dreamed. It's just, like, you kind of know you're in a dream, and then that's when you start to... I've never been in a dream and know of it. No, I have had weird things where... Like the other night I was reading and I go, oh, it's your turn. And I put the book down. I was like, I'm just going to shut my eyes for a second. Yeah. But you know you're lying uh, to yourself. Yeah. yeah I do and, that. And it's like, in the moment I go, I'm not asleep. Mm-hmm. But I've started, it's like, you're begin just, you're to dream. You're getting asleep, yeah. It's like your your yeah. brain automatically starts going off and all of a sudden you're like, oh. And you wake up. And I've not realized I was in a dream, but I've realized... Like, my consciousness was slipping. Yeah. Like, I've already started imagining <clears throat> things. You know, that's crazy. Sleep, like, just sleep is crazy because we still don't really have, like, a... Yeah, just thinking about the idea of sleep. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly. Life seems so fake. Exactly. That's what I mean. Like, we don't have a... I mean, we have reasons. Your body, you need to sleep, but... But why? why? <laughs> like, why do I deteriorate if I don't sleep, you know? Like, why? I don't know. It's weird. You think Socrates was on this a long what? time ago? Oh, or was maybe. it Plato? Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe he discovered something. He's like, yeah. just keep asking why, and you'll you'll understand that <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, I know. He's like, it, it truly. Everything is made of tiny little cells, yeah. but inside those cells <clears throat> are smaller things, and inside of those things are what do they call them? Uh, what's what makes up atoms? 
Well, what makes up those? Is there something with a Q? Oh, uh, yes. uh, quarks. 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 But it's also theorized that there's things smaller than quarks. Really? <clears throat> and it's like, well, when does it stop? Yeah. <sighs> like, when is it? When is it so small that we just can't even? Well, you can't see it as it is. I, like, I, know, but like even, I think like, quarks have been witnessed, yeah. but they can't just view them. Yeah. And I think they've. Life is so strange. Yeah, what a fucking weird. Can we talk about something like happy before we end this? One? <laughs> I, I literally like. I'm gonna be scared just walking to the car. Like, <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think of something, but I can't. That's sad. Um, look how cool that looks. That does look very gothic and like. It's also a good way to tell how long we've been here. <clears throat> well, not really. Yeah, because there's no. You don't know how tall it was unless you like. We don't know how tall it was, and you also don't know how high the wick was. So, like, a shorter wick means it was a smaller flame right. burning less heat. Also, different waxes have different temperatures. You're right, dude. I take it back. We have no <laughs> idea how long we've been here. We've been here a solid two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a happy... Yeah, I just... I mean... All I can think, and again, <clears throat> just like hell... <laughs> Why can no. you not, why do you only remember the bad experiences in your life almost exclusively versus the good experiences? Everything points to the earth just being full of just But do you ever taste something so good you just realize you, you can't be living in hell for that to be to that, I disagree that with that. Exist? Oh, you think it's it's so good to set you up for the fall? No, no, no. Oh. As far as good experiences. Oh. But tasting things I mean, no, I don't. I don't think that means that you're not in hell. I just, I, damn. I just mean like. I, I believe that demons, Satan, could imitate heaven, oh. and luxuries. Yeah. So they so. could make things. I mean, <laughs> when they would promise riches to like all these guys in the Bible, they got riches. I mean, they experience. Please don't tell me you're saying food is evil. Cause no, I'm evil. saying that just because you experienced right. what seemed like a luxury doesn't mean it ha- means yeah. that it was heavenly. It's just, it's just even evil can disguise itself right. to keep you kind of. I mean, they like the it. like the show, a good place. <clears throat> Have we not been tricked? Maybe possibly that this is not. I haven't seen a good place. I don't know. Can I give you a spoiler here? Yeah. They're in hell. Okay. They are? They've been tricked. And the whole plot is that bad things constantly happen to them to make them feel uncomfortable and almost like torture them. But they're constantly afraid that if it gets found out that they'll be sent to hell. Wow. It's just like their life. (laughs) It's like they're constantly told, no, you're not in hell. And so when bad things happen, they're like, oh, it's just... I mean, it's just me doing that, but <laughs> it's really hell. Yeah. It really makes you think, like... Yeah. I bet the person who created that show is, like, someone like <laughs> us who can't... Because I thought, I thought we were coming to that, like, naturally, but... Wow. That's crazy. What's really crazy is when you realize that you're not the only person who has an idea. Mm-hmm. The same idea. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was just in the past few days I go, wow, the makers of The Matrix... I've heard the same quote from like I think it's the black guy talking to um yeah. Counter Reeves. Yeah. <clears throat> Lawrence it's like, Fishburne. That's like building that's a name. that's building a bridge out of there. That's pretty cool. Well, now I'm gonna have to um help it build another bridge. <laughs> um Oh, you know what'd be kind of a cool theme? Mm-hmm. We could call it um, I'll come up with it later <laughs> but basically we light the candle at the beginning and when we're done oh yeah that's it cool. call it like the the candle burners I don't know yeah tallow flickers <clears throat> sounds kind of dirty wow <laughs> <clears throat> um the lamp lighters wow 
We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I talking about? Oh, but realizing, wow, all these people are describing how I'm feeling. They must have felt the same way yeah. to have written at least something yeah. like that. Yeah, I've experienced I've experienced it a lot. <coughs> Because I've been uh, I've been doing this thing where I try to listen to older albums and like try to imagine what it'd be like to listen to them for the first time when they came out and it's just weird. It's like you can kind of get in other people's mindsets. Kind of it's like you can see how people came up with other things and like wow, you can actually like think like someone else like that kind of. The Twilight Zone. I've talked about that probably <clears> three <throat> hundred times already. Yeah. On this, but every time I watch an episode, do you know how many it. it Deal with the world being fake. Yeah. Uh, one other a really popular one, this guy wakes up and it's a ghost town. There's no one around. The and only he, one I've seen, yeah. Oh, and it was a simulation. Mm-hmm. There's another. It's like a military simulation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a few more like that where it's just the world doesn't exist. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's blowing my brain. I'm kind of <laughs> creeped out. I know. I I like how we were like, let's not make this in a creepy one. Let's save it for a, like oh. a separate episode. And then we just... We've got so many ghost stories, though. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Yours I'm really interested in. Yeah. I'll have to... I wonder if I can have my mom on the show. Because she would know more. I don't know if she'd be comfortable talking about it. I I'll get the scoop would love her. to hear it from her. <laughs> yeah. However, at the state and condition my house is in... <laughs> You two are the only people allowed here. I'll just I'll uh, I'll get the scoop from her and I'll relay it. My mom would love to come here and talk about that stuff. Yeah. My mom gets animated. She told me some creepy things about Rush. She told me that that Samuel was the key. She told me not to go back. She My mom says some real <laughs> creepy stuff. Sometimes she just does that to mess with people. She was like, "Promise me you won't go back, son." I was like, "I don't know," but then I did. And tonight you're going to experience something. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be trying to sleep no, and all stop. of a sudden don't even say your computer that, light dude. come on and you're gonna go what the heck and then all of a sudden a program's gonna pop oh my pop God. open and then you're gonna get a messenger it ding it starts typing <laughs> you're gonna get a messenger ding you go click on it and it says hey listen to this dude and, it's re- and then oh my god they're recording we to make a movie that's yeah. like ugh that's creepy wow oh you forgot to you forgot to say hi back yeah. And then Oh man. <laughs> I hate that you said that. Like now you're gonna be laying in bed going, Oh my god. I, oh my god like oh my even god. if I know it's not gonna happen, it's just the idea that it could will be in my head and I'll be like Get <laughs> I hate that you even put that there. <laughs> oh stick around son, I'll put no, some more in just, your head. Let's wrap it up with like a I got a bit this is why. I used to like I would watch a horror movie and then I would put on like my little pony just to like <laughs> I was just like now. Let me tell you, fun. we're gonna get a little bit more dark here. <clears throat> I'm all, until this past week, basically, when I started reading a lot more, again, <laughs> I should say not a lot more. I would always sleep with the TV on because when I would turn the TV off and try to go to bed naturally, I would have the most dark. That's thoughts. why I listen to audiobooks. You get the weirdest, darkest, and creepiest like thoughts. Thoughts, right? and you're like. Do I want to kill myself? Like, no, I don't want to kill right, myself. Right, it's just I'm thinking that. And I'm, then constantly it's like, I, do I worship it. Satan. No, I don't. I don't worship Satan. Why would I even think that? No, I don't do that. And it's like, and then all of a sudden I <laughs> just start thinking about my parents dying. It's like, it's like I'll your start brain crying. Think of the worst things in the world. Hell, it's yeah. torture. Yeah. So when I would have the TV on, I would fall asleep to the TV and I would be just fine. But the great thing about reading is I read until I'm so fucking tired that yes, I just pass out in good. the next few seconds. That's good. I... I I personally have to have like an audiobook or song Same. on TV. Yeah. Unless I'm so physically exhausted, I can just like conk out. But yeah. What is it? Like, our, what makes our us minds lazy? are hell, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, seriously, a mind in its own place yeah. can make a hell of heaven and a heaven of hell. That, that was a good one. What matter the again? place if, my, if I be the same? That was good. Paradise Lost? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Playing some bombs here. But no, seriously, and I don't know what it is. Like yeah. I would just try to lay down. It's been like that ever since I was at least in my early teens. It's like, yeah, yeah. I would, as soon as I got a TV in my room, boom, put it on. I would watch something. I don't. I would have Seinfeld play it constantly because yeah, it would like feel like somebody was there in my room. It's, it's like the silence. It's just like there's too much. Dude, I wanted to. You know how they had the song "Silence, Silence." Mm-hmm. I wanted to write 
<clears throat> a book, but like a creepy book, and I call it The Sound of Silence. But it'd be like the sound because I when I would lay down, I would yeah. hear like footsteps. It sounds like footsteps, and I would see that it's like the sound of silence yeah. is someone coming to get you. Damn, you should do it. But sitting down and writing, it's not for me. But if I dictated it and somebody wrote it, <laughs> yeah. If we could flesh out this idea and wanted to just write it, <clears throat> right? It could also be a screenplay. It doesn't have to be like a book. But I don't know. I just had the idea. You know, every time I go lay down, I would just like, if it's silent, if I block off my ear. That's kind of been like explored. And before like one of my favorite uh doctor who like villains or enemies is they're called the silence and uh yeah you told me about this yeah when you look at them they're these alien creatures they look like kind of like a stereotypical alien but um but they wear like these suits um <coughs> when you look at them you can see them you're tangible you can see them you can like you're you're in your right you know you're sane you can see them but then when you look away, you instantly forget. Everything else in the world is the same, but you forget about them existing. And they can still so they be watching would, you. Yeah, so they would... Oh my god, they do it really well. They would put a tally mark on their arm if they see one. And then, like, as the episode goes on, this girl is, like, having a normal day, and then she looks down at her arms, and she rolls up her sleeve. She's got tallies all over her, as in she'd, had, she'd been seeing them all day long, marking every time she sees one. And so then you know they're, like, all around her, and, like, just chill. Are they evil? They're evil, yeah. They... I don't know what they do. They kill you or they, uh, I think in the show they made it like they're actually behind a lot of the biggest like things in the world. Like, um, is Doctor Who's a time traveler? They go back to like, I never watched an episode. It's good. I liked it up until like recently. I don't know. But, I mean, I still like it. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, another thing that I experience a lot. Is if I'm laying in bed and it's completely silent, mm -hmm. I can feel my bed shake. Really? Yeah, and I used to think something's trapping my bed. <laughs> Stop. No, I used to think that. And Where then, are we at? And then I started thinking, I'm experiencing an earthquake. I have to be. What else is that? Okay. Oh, I'm almost I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just want to talk about something happening. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> That's the ship Damn. sailed, dude. Um, and I would feel like something was grabbing and shaking my bed, and then I started to go... Nothing's got me yet. It must be an earthquake. Until I felt an earthquake for real. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm experiencing. And then I, I, your brain tries to rationalize it. Yeah. So I've come to the conclusion. It's just your natural. Like if you try to hold your arm, you You're shake. Shaking, yeah. Maybe I'm shaking enough in the bed that it's shaking my bed. But I could, I could literally feel it. I could be laying down and it just feels like it. And then coupled with that laying down and hearing... Dude, when I first heard that, my first memory of hearing it, I remember, like, being so fucking scared and creeping and looking out my blinds to see if, because right where my window was, it was it's that it's like a gravel bar. Yeah. And I used to think somebody was outside my window walking. Dude, I used to be terrified as a kid. That is terrifying. <laughs> terrified of my basement. <clears throat> terrified of going to sleep without a sound. Yeah. I mean that's still. <clears throat> Terrified of going to sleep without an animal next to me. Mm -hmm. I always had to sleep with something on my side of me because I had this constant fear if nothing was next to me, something would come up over the side of the bed and see me. Jesus. So dude. I had this body sized fish and I always slept up against it because I was kind of like hidden up against it. And yeah. I always faced a direction. So I was like, I always felt protected on my back with yeah. that there. I used to just, I used to just You're bringing up some deep-seated fears of mine. <laughs> right. I, I That's what I mean. Like, it's weird how the mind is like that. But I used to do this thing where I would, I'd be falling asleep and um, I would pretend for whatever reason, like my mind would just tell me this was happening. So I would pretend it was happening. I would pretend that someone opens the window and they like crawl in and they're like a burglar or like just someone bad. And I would pretend as long as I pretended to be asleep, they couldn't see me or hurt me. They would just walk right past me. So it would help me fall asleep because I would be like, just remain perfectly still. Don't breathe and go under the cover. And just, I mean, don't like breathe too hard. Just like steady your breathing and just pretend you're asleep and they'll leave you alone. And then it would help me fall asleep. But it gave me such an eerie feeling yeah. that I didn't even want to open my eyes. It was, like, it was like, as long as I don't open my eyes and see them, I'm good. Like, I'm fine. It was weird. I don't know. Sometimes I still do that. Like, it's like... Like, the mind of a kid is super weird. But how does it imagine those things? <clears throat> I know. 
And you know, <coughs> I've talked about memories all the time, how you can make memories, but what about blocking memories? Yeah. I mean, how many memories have we blocked? I'm sure you can block memories. Like, I'm not saying that I'm questioning it. I'm saying how many, how many have like, we have ourselves? We, yeah. Like, what if we experience something truly bad and we've blocked it? That's where well, all these fears well, are coming from. Well, a lot of the times that's the case. Like trauma, people who experience like severe trauma, they kind of repress it, right? So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, my trauma would be my mom telling me the ghost stories all the time as a kid. <laughs> I was scared to go down to the basement. I was scared yeah, to be in the living room by myself. And people handle it differently, I think. But I think that could definitely be uh, a symptom of like experiencing something. You just shock, forget. I'm fucking scared. Yeah, me too. Do I have tallies? Like, I'm like... <laughs> Dude, what if you woke up one day? That would be a good prank. Like now that you know that about me, <laughs> like if I ever fall asleep here, <laughs> just. <laughs> oh, what I would do is I put it like tallies on your face. Yeah, that way I like. So you never see mirror. it when you go to the mirror. I think like, they do that in the show too. Like this, this person has had like a long day, and they get home, they look at, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And then you just see them all around. <laughs> it's creepy. So how do they see them if they forget about them? As soon as you look away, like when you break. What do you mean? Like, if you no longer can see them once you look away, then how do you ever spot them again? You uh, just have to... Like, they could be sitting there, and until you look, like, directly at its eyes, you won't see it? Until you look at it, like, um... I think, yeah, maybe eye contact. <clears throat> so I could be, like, glancing around, and all of a sudden, where my eyes just happen to go, if it gets its eyes, it would appear? Yeah, and I Oof. think... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'll, Is that how it goes? I don't know. I'm a, I'm almost 100% sure it has to be like looking at its eyes, but maybe just looking at it. But they, I don't know. Would I'll you be able to feel it if you touched it on accident? Uh, Can you imagine be walking and like all of a sudden like. There's also a movie called The Silence, but. So this is how they look. They just look like aliens, but. Um, Ooh. Yeah, like this, this is kind of creepy, the, the mouth thing. Ooh, um, I'm gonna say that in my sleep tonight, bro. Yeah, but like, <coughs> yeah, if you're not looking directly at it, you can't see it. But then when you look at it, you have to keep looking at it, and then you mark your. Yeah, well, your, good news. I've got my Walther with me. <coughs> yeah, I popped that mole when it hit. Yeah, they can't like in the in the show that they can't die from like gunshots I think How or, they or maybe then? they can actually if they couldn't it's been a die long time. then I'd probably just give up and say fucking take it's it it's been a long time I think they can die it's just the problem is you have to be looking at them the whole time but yeah I think they can die they're just a little stronger so if you notice eye contact with them why wouldn't they just kill you they just let you um I don't know like first of all in the UK I don't think a lot of people had like guns but I think I forget what their purpose was. It was like maybe they by the fear they get. I don't know. <clears throat> it was like the whole plot of a season, so it had to be some sort of purpose. I don't know. I feel like I need to watch it. Doctor Who is good. It's a good show. Like start with, uh, like if you want to watch it, I I've never seen the old ones, like the first Doctor to the eighth. I've never seen any of those, but when they revamped it and started with the ninth Doctor, I've watched the ninth through the twelfth, and they're really good. Night for the 13th, maybe. I'm creeped out. I'm tired. That's a bad mix. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for watching the first half of this episode um, <laughs> last week, hopefully. <laughs> or if you're binging right now, whatever. Um, yeah, thank, and thank you again to Jason oh, for that. Thank you, Jason. We're at 61 subscribers. Yeah, we are. Thank you so much for 61 subs. The sub. last video, I remember saying <laughs> we're at 59. Yeah. But we're now at 61. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to, um, I think my friend Chris from Texas was the 60th. I don't know who the 61st was, but makes me sad that they they know us. Why? I'd rather it be someone that was a stranger and was like, oh, uh, we're, it's getting out there. I mean, we don't know 61 people. Some of them have to be. Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> Bye guys. Peace. I know we were like I. It might have sounded like a joke, but I'm not gonna be able to sleep in my room. Like I'm gonna have to have like either music. I'll have my cat, music, a book, like everything. Lights on. It'll be a whole.